This is Arman Rahim. So, welcome back to our SketchUp series. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you about different kind of uh, actually camera uh, saved views. So, how exactly we can be using them? Let's see. They actually uh, known here as scenes, S C E N E S. So, how and where we can find all the scenes and how we're going to use all these things. Let us see. First of all, I'm going to just turn this fog off because I didn't want that thing and the next thing is I am going to go for this camera and you can actually see here I will be having an option like uh, standard views I'm just making that thing exactly front view let us say and then going back to the scenes you can see there's an option scenes and you can see I'm having an option here plus just click here at scene and it's just giving us a warning you're creating or updating thing and have not saved the changes you've made to your style what you like to blah 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 and I'm saying just uh, by having this thing uh, save as new style and just click on this create scene and you can see here I'm actually having that scene the next thing what I'm going to do is I will be uh, seeing that I'm going to make this thing like this kind of I'm just trying to hand this thing a little bit upside kind of like this and again i'm clicking on this plus and you can see there's another scene and you can even see these are actually tabs let us say i want to go to the top view so i'm just clicking on this thing and this top view needs to be more of orthographic like i'm gonna go for camera go for uh parallel projection and i'm again going to click on this plus and you can see there is another scene here as well just click on this thing so that you can go to that particular things so these things are actually completely saved here so this is how you can actually make different kind of scenes but you can see when i'm uh, clicking on this scene too it's actually jumping with an animations kind of like this and kind of like this if you don't want that animation let's get to the camera oh sorry view let's go to the animations and then let's go to the settings in that settings you can see enable scene transition i'm just turning this thing off and just closing it now i'm clicking here you can see directly there isn't any animation there isn't any animation so last time it was animated but right now it is not at all animated so if you want to rename that thing, just select that scene, like this section my front view, so I'm just renaming it. And you can see there's something called name and this and that, different options available on the bottom side. This is right now written as the scene one actually, but I want it to be front. And there isn't any description I want to save. Uh, if you want to have the save changes about the camera, this, that, different of options are available. You can actually uh, give that option according to your requirement. However, I'm just leaving that thing as it is. I'm gonna go for a scene two. You can see it's being updated here. But for the scene two, if I want to make this thing a little bit different, what exactly scene two is? It's actually kind of perspective, uh, or I can say 3D view maybe. And I'm just trying to select this thing. What kind of view is this? It is actually my top view, so I'm just trying to name this thing as top view as well. So that's done. Now, if you want to just see uh, front view, click here front, 3D, top view. This is how you can actually make the things uh, far easier. Now, finally, I'm going to save another view, which is going to be a lot interesting. What exactly I mean when I say like that? Let us see. I'm going to go for view again, and I'm going to make this thing face styles as, let us say, uh, kind of maybe, okay, monochrome. Now, for doing that thing, I'm again going to save that thing. So, how you can save that? Just click on this plus create the scene and you can see there is only one scene which is kind of white color so now I'm going to say this thing is my what's that monochrome right monochrome yo so uh, the next thing is uh, you can see how if you want to see the things in the monochrome visualization you can see that thing here as well so monochrome visualization 3d visualization that in the shaded texture and so on and so forth so this is how you can actually have your different kind of camera views if you want the name here used is actually scenes. So that was pretty much about today's tutorial. Hope you like this thing and 
just go for next video for more information until that slow